In this lesson, we're going to look at how to submit a form with JavaScript. So we have a simple form set up on the page at the moment, which if we inspect it, you can see has a few input boxes set up for usernames and passwords, etc. And we're asking the user to enter a password and to confirm it. And when they click register, the form is submitted to whatever backend server side script that we configure to send it to. But we might want to do some checks on the data that the user's entered. For example, to check whether the password matches the confirmed password values before actually sending the data to the server to register the user of the HTML form, which if you can see when I hit the register button actually reloads the page. So we'll do that by setting up an event listener on the form, which just has a ID of register form. And the event we're going to listen to is the submit event. And in our callback, we can access the event data that's associated with this event when it's triggered. And there's a special function available on the event object which is simply called prevent default, which as the name suggests, will stop the default behavior of the form and stop it from submitting the data to the endpoint that's configured and reloading the page. So if we just set up that event listener to try it out, now when we click the register button, you can see that the page no longer reloads because that bit of JavaScript has prevented that from happening. Of course, if we just wanted to submit the form manually ourselves, we can just call the submit function directly on the form element itself. So as previously mentioned, what might be useful is to check that the password and confirm password boxes actually match. So let's recreate our event listener and put in some logic to do that. So we've just used a simple if statement to check the value of the password input box and the confirm password input box actually match and if they do we'll continue and submit the registration form but if not we'll just log to the console that they don't match but in reality we could put some message on the page to let the user know that they've made a mistake. So as you can see just entering two different passwords means that we don't get a match but when we put in a password that does match on both input boxes the form gets submitted and then the page is reloaded. So that's just a simple demonstration of how you can submit a form with JavaScript, but also how you might implement that in a project by adding some validation or some logic around the input fields of the form.